Good morning. It's September 27th. Our reading today from Solid Stepping Stones is called Critical Choice Day. It comes from James chapter 1, verses 13 through 18. No one should say when he is tempted, I am being tempted by God. For God cannot be tempted by evil things, and he himself does not tempt anyone. But each person is tempted when he is drawn out and enticed by his own desires. Then desire, having conceived, bears sin, and sin, when it becomes a completed work, gives birth to death. Don't be deceived, my beloved brothers. Every act of giving that is good and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights from whom there is no parallax or shadow of turning, who willingly gave birth to us by the word of truth, resulting in our becoming a sort of first fruits of his creations. We will face the temptation to sin. It is part of our fallen nature. The battle is clearly described in Romans 7. Even the seasoned Christian can hear himself saying, Why is God doing this to me? God does allow us to be tested to show those areas where we do not yet agree with Jesus, but he himself will never tempt us to sin. That would be entrapment. This passage clears up some confusion for us by showing us that only good comes from God. Note also that this passage makes no reference to Satan. James places the full responsibility for our temptations squarely on our own desires. The bad news is we are 100% responsible for, for when we fall into temptation. The good news is we have 100% control over how we react to temptation. Today is critical choice day. Even this day, your own desires will entice you to sin. You have the power to determine whether desire will conceive sin. It's a critical choice. Let's pray. Father, you are good. Because you are good and everything you give is good, I have no need of anything but what you have to give. Help me remember that today when I am tempted. If you agree with that prayer, say amen. Your readings today are from Isaiah chapters 61 and 62 and 1 Corinthians chapter 7. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow.